he talks. He's even kind of cute the way he pouts and barks. The way he hums while brushing teeth and jokes while combing hair. Not that I ever noticed or would ever really happening inside of me. I don't like this shit. I've been doing very well, ignoring most of it. Well, perhaps I care more than I said. A teeny, tiny bit. Yes, Mr. Goldman. What? You, you, you gotta be kidding me. But, but, but what if we... Yes, but if we could... All right, all right, I get it! Oh, damn it. Raving bitch again. Horace Goldman. Having good productions has declared bankruptcy. <sighs> what does that mean? It means we're all out of the job. Have to have the bus and all company property back in New York on Monday. I better get my damn paycheck. Oh, I'm sure your mama will make sure that's taken care of. You know what? Don't start it. You know what? Come on, baby. 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 this on, baby. Come on, Still stuck here in Toad Lake. You say that like it's a bad thing, Arnie. I'll take this in the kitchen where there's a knife I can stab myself with. You know what, Sheriff? The only way you're ever going to find Rock is if he wants to be found. And we both know that's not too damn likely. I was hoping for a little friendlier reception. Tea and strumpets would have been nice. Leave us alone now, okay? I'll do that very thing. Just as soon as that truckling truant has locked up my cozy little jailhouse. Like what Marvin said. Now don't yeah. you be swinging at a big city thinking of me, Arnie. I'm a trained professional, and I will get my man. <laughs> and you make your home with that? I live in the back of her garage. <laughs> Listen, Arnie. 
I wanted to apologize for what happened with Rock and everything. You and I were really good friends. I really liked you. It's just, when I'm around you now, I feel like the paper is peeling off the walls inside me. It seems like... Crap, you know, there, there's nothing wrong with what my parents want me to do. I'll, I'll go work with my dad, and I'll take some night classes. Mom's right, you smarting up. And I'll tell Chrissy to pick out the ring. And everything will be great on the home front, don't you think? I'll give her a call now. Is that what home is to you? <clears throat> Doing what everybody else wants you to do? Hey. When I think about home, I think about laughter, I think about life and never being alone. When I think about home, I think of something so grand, something that I have never known. When I think about home, I think about sharing, I think about sin. I was going to tell her to do it. Just go pick out that ring and... Arnie, I couldn't. Don't look at me, Joe. The only answers I've got are for questions you're not asking. Good, you're both here. Arrangements are all made and it's a go. Mike Dobbins, a producer in New York, got a new musical he's putting up off-Broadway and he wants to be in the direct. Oh, that's wow. fantastic, J.D. There's a great lead role for Marvin and there are spots for you too. You better not be kidding me. They're just chorus roles, but it's a start. Oh, I knew there was a light shining. I just knew it. Yes, JD, the answer is yes. I've got to go tell Miss Melnor. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Joe? Don't you want to go to New York? You know, thanks, JD, but I... I, I don't know. Chrissy? Oh, well, you could say your name like it's some sort of disease. Oh, sorry. I hoped you'd come. If you change your mind. I saw Arnie running down the street like he was chasing Lightning. What's going on? Uh, oh, Jeannie got the call from Dobbins. Yeah. Okay. Oh, You're not excited? Oh, uh, he told me it might happen. I think it's great for him. <laughs> he did tell you there's roles for you and Arnie? Yeah, he did. But I'm not going to go, I guess. I can't, Marvin. It's just... No. I can't. You know what, honey? You have a choice to make. You've only got one life, and you're the only one who knows what to do with it. Like what you've done. Okay, I've gotten off track, I'll admit that. But I have plans for getting back on. Like doing the leading JD's new show? No. I'm going back to New York just long enough to pack up my stuff, and I am moving on. Well, what will you do? What will you do, Joe? I've got this awful feeling that you're really close to making a really bad decision. 